Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. So we are interested to discuss Kirchhoff's law in frequency domain. Kirchhoff's laws in frequency domain. So we know that we have two Kirchhoff's laws. One is uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law. This is shortened as KVL and we have Kirchhoff's current law which is shortened as KCL. So in a time domain uh, we know that according to Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL the sum of uh, voltages around a loop is zero that is v1 if we have suppose uh, voltages v1 plus v2 and so on till vn in a loop so their sum is uh, zero right so suppose uh, v1 is uh, v1 cos omega 1 t plus uh, theta 1 and uh, v2 is v2 cos omega 2 t plus theta 2 and so on till vn is vn cos omega nt plus theta n then their sum is zero so their phasor representation in the phasor domain or the frequency domain it will be for example this will be v1 angle theta 1 plus v2 angle theta 2 and so on vn angle theta n and that should be equal to zero so this can be represented as v1 bar plus v2 bar the phasor representation plus vn bar is equal to zero so so this shows that the Kirchhoff's voltage law in the phasor or frequency domain is the same as the Kirchhoff's law in the time domain similarly according to Kirchhoff's current law the sum of currents uh, entering a node is equal to the sum of currents leaving the node or sum of all the currents uh, entering or leaving the node is zero. So in the time domain, for example, we have I1 plus I2 and so on till IN is equal to zero and in the phasor domain it will be I1 plus I2 bar and so on till IN bar is equal to zero. This is Kirchhoff's current law in the uh, phasor domain. This is KCL, right? And this is KVL here in the frequency domain.